Now we move on to Coach of the Year. Raleigh, what do you think? I'm rolling with Brad Stevens. Um, I feel like you can look at his past. And when he took Butler to the NCAA championship, that was amazing. And then even when he went to Boston, he instilled his culture. And ever since that, every Boston team has been well-prepared, well-coached throughout the fourth quarter and throughout late in games. And I feel like that's just essential for how well the team prepared, how well Brad Stevens got the team to prepare. It's just been amazing. Not to mention you had to fill Doc Rivers' shoes. Freddie, what do you think for Coach of the Year? I, I'm also going to roll with Brad Stevens. Um, if you ask me this in, say, like September of last year, I just said there's no way this guy wins it. His team is way too good. But at the end of the day, he's losing Isaiah Thomas. He's losing Jay Crowder. He's losing Avery Bradley. And he obviously brings in some very good players in Gordon Hayward, Kyrie Irving. Um, I've, and you just he just got a lot of good role players around them. He has two very young stars in Jalen Brown and um, Jason Tatum. And this is just a very well put together team. You've got everything in that team. You've got Al Horford, who can do a little bit of everything, especially at the center spot. You've got a guy who can just, you know, hit down jumpers. He can rebound. He can score in the post. He can really do whatever he wants. You've got you've got Gordon Hayward, who is very like you're a true like scoring shooting guard. Shooting guard. Small forward. <laughs> uh, he's a small forward that can, you know, score from a variety of different ways. Did I say shooting guard again? No, you're good. No. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> he's, a, he's a small forward who can score in a variety of ways. There's just no real way of stopping him. You've got Kyrie Irving, in my opinion, probably one of the better scoring point guards in the entire league. Definitely has the best handles in the entire league right now. Um, and then you've got players like Marcus Smart, who is just such a good defender, such a good playmaker. You've got Terry Rozier, who's obviously blown up and become a major part in the Celtics playoff run, which is what I want to go into, is you're Brad Stevens. You lose your best player. You still make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. And I think for that reason, I think he just deserves Coach of the Year. I mean, you can look at how well the younger players have developed under Brad Stevens is credit to him. Um, not only how well have the younger players developed, how the players who have left Brad Stevens haven't, hasn't been as effective. Um, Isaiah Thomas, under Brad Stevens, was an MVP candidate. Um, moves on from Brad Stevens, not nearly the player he was. Um, you can even look at a player like Jay Crowder. I know he's doing well and did well in Utah, but um, in Cleveland, he was not near the player he was in Boston. And I think, I think a big part with that is also the fact that he can develop that young talent like Jason Tatum, Terry Rozier, uh, Jalen Brown, they all stepped in to fill the shoes of the stars that were missing. And I think that's a testament to how good Brad Stevens is as a coach. He can lose the player like Kyrie Irving. He can lose the player like Gordon Hayward. And you can be like, okay, you guys need to step up now. And I don't think you can say that about any other coach in the league pretty much. If you look at Mike D'Antoni and the Rockets, James Harden or Chris Paul goes down. There's no, there's no one to really like fill the shoes of those guys. Um, Tyron Lue, the Cavs, LeBron James goes down, they're done. Like They're not winning any games. So I think that's a big testament to how, just how good Brad Stevens is as a coach. 